Welcome back to Brain Omega Channel, where curiosity meets clarity. Have you ever wondered how to unravel the mysteries behind those complex black box machine learning models? Today I'm going to guide you through the secrets of making any black box model understandable in just 7 minutes. Get ready to unlock the power of explainability and transform the way you see AI. Let's get started. Ever wondered why your cutting-edge ML model makes a certain decision? In the next minutes, you'll discover how post-hoc explainability techniques can shed light on any black box model. No retraining required. Stick around and if you find this useful, hit the like button and subscribe for more ML deep dives. These days, machine learning is woven into the fabric of so many industries, whether it's helping banks make decisions about loans, assisting doctors in interpreting medical images, or supporting countless other professionals in their daily work. It's truly everywhere, quietly powering the tools and systems we rely on. But here's the thing. When a machine learning model makes a critical decision, like denying someone a loan or misclassifying a medical scan, it's not enough for organizations to simply know that the model is accurate most of the time. People want to understand why the model made that particular choice, especially when the stakes are high. That's why trust in these systems is so important. Organizations need to be able to audit decisions, check for potential biases, and even debug unexpected outcomes. It's not just about performance, it's about being able to stand behind the results and explain them to others. This is exactly where post hoc explainability comes into play. Instead of having to redesign or retrain your entire model, post hoc methods allow you to look inside the black box after the model has already been trained. These techniques help you figure out which features or examples were most influential in driving a particular decision. In other words, they shine a light on the reasoning behind the model's output, making it much easier to interpret and trust. And the best part? You don't have to go back to square one or retrain your model from scratch. Post hoc explainability works with the model you already have, making it a practical and powerful tool for anyone working with machine learning. Explainability can be built directly into a model. Think small decision trees that are self-explanatory, but most state-of-the-art models like deep neural networks or ensembles are too complex for direct interpretation. Instead, we apply post-hoc methods, which are model agnostic tools that analyze a fixed, trained model's behavior. This means the same explainer can work on any black box classifier or regressor. Next up, the main categories of post-hoc explanations. Broadly speaking, post hoc explainability methods fall into six families. We have feature importance techniques such as LIME and SHAP, which rank input features by their contribution. Then, there are rule-based methods like anchors that produce if-then rules to anchor decisions. Saliency maps are another approach, highlighting critical pixels or words. Prototype-based methods retrieve similar training examples. Counterfactual explanations show how to change inputs to flip an outcome. Lastly, we have representation-based or distillation techniques that approximate the black box with a simpler surrogate. For tabular data like loan applications, feature importance methods are extremely popular. SHAP values, for instance, assign a contribution score to each feature for a single prediction. You might see credit score contributed plus 0.4 toward approval while loan amount contributed minus 0.2 toward denial. LIME works in a similar way by fitting a simple local linear model around the data point to approximate the complex model's behavior. Rule-based explainers such as anchors generate concise if-then statements. For example, if credit score is greater than or equal to 700 and income is greater than or equal to $50,000, then approved. These rules help stakeholders quickly grasp the main drivers of a decision. When explaining text models, say, sentiment classification, saliency maps assign each token a score, often using gradients or attention. Words like stunning or moved light up to show their influence on the positive label. Input reduction methods iteratively delete words that minimally affect the prediction until only key tokens remain, revealing the model's decision basis. Prototype-based explainers can also pull up similar review examples from the training set to justify why a new review is classified as positive or negative. In computer vision, saliency maps, created by methods like integrated gradients or layer-wise relevance propagation, 
highlight pixels or regions most responsible for a model's classification. For instance, in a panda image, the face and ears might glow red if they push the network toward the panda label. Shap for images groups pixels into super pixels and calculates Shapley values. Concept attribution methods go further by linking human interpretable concepts, such as texture or color, to the model's internal representations. Post hoc explanations also extend to time series data. Relevance heat maps highlight which temporal segments, say a spike in an ECG, caused an anomaly prediction. Prototype based methods retrieve similar historical segments. Although we won't dive deeper, remember the principle. Identify influential inputs or examples, no matter the data type. Audio, graphs, or multimodal settings are all supported. Once you generate explanations, how do you know they're any good? Key criteria include fidelity. Does the explanation truly reflect the black box's behavior? Stability. Does a minor input change cause wildly different explanations? And human-centered metrics. Do actual users find the explanation helpful? Keep in mind post hoc methods aren't perfect. They can be sensitive to hyperparameters, like the number of SHAP samples, and explanations may mislead if the underlying model is unstable or biased. To recap post hoc explainability lets you peer inside any trained model, tabular, text, image, or time series, by using methods like SHAP, LIME, saliency maps, and counterfactuals. Always evaluate your explanations for fidelity, stability, and user relevance. With these tools you can build trust in your AI systems, identify biases, and satisfy regulatory requirements without sacrificing predictive power. If you learned something new, hit like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check the description for links to code samples and further reading. Thanks for watching.